Oh, honey. Oh! At the end of the week, Jamie and Ben are gonna have a big night in. But you guys are gonna judge them and award brownie points based on how they do. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I have gargantuan expectations. Yeah, so for every point we give them, do they get to have a brownie? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just a figure of speech. Hey! Salad. Well, oh, oh, wow. that is very mate, good. that's glistening. Look at it; it's so. And that is glistening by probably one thing, one thing only. Yes, honey, honey. fish sauce. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> this is our Vietnamese honey roasted ham with a noodle and papaya salad. Plus, we've got ourselves a papaya soda. You start pouring. I'll start carving. How about that? Thanks, mate. Walk you up, oh, and you. Right. Did, he, did that just happen? He's getting did absolutely. He's getting <laughs> no points from me whatsoever. Thank you very much, Ben. That's not even a phrase. That's no. not. Well, you know, like, it's not. No. It's not. No, no, no it's, it's not. not. Even, no, do you know what it is? It's just disgusting, <laughs> and it's sad. That's what it is. <laughs> it's just sad. Cheers. 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 It's oh, fruity. Fresh. Fresh. Wow, oh, that is great. Fruity. Cidery. Is it? Cider. Cider. There's Cider. alcohol in there. Cider. Yeah. A little bit. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, where do we start? Well, it's got to be with the pork, right? It's got to be with the pork. Go okay. with the ham. We'll go ham first. <laughs> Forget that happened. <laughs> what do we think? Oh. That is. That is. Oh. Right, so what have you done there? I don't get that. That's beautiful. That's ridiculous. Some of the most succulent ham I've succulent ever had. Succulent is the key. I'd say honey glazed ham is probably the most popular, like that, yeah, one of the most popular hams out there, but I've never had anything like that before. So succulent, and that's because it's twice cooked. First of all, we boiled it, then we roasted it. What we have to celebrate a big night in is a huge two kilo hunk of pig. This is a gammon joint. It's unsmoked, it's rolled, and it's ready to be boiled before we roast it, but it's going to be boiled in a stock. It is of shallots, of garlic, of ginger, of finger chilies, of fish sauce and lemongrass. The ham goes in, it's cold to start off with, we heat it up to a gentle simmer and then cook it for about an hour and a half to two hours for something that size. Why are you so confused? Because everything you've taught me about boiling things is that if they grow below the ground, you bring them up to the boil. Like potatoes and, if, and Yeah, carrots. and if they grow above the ground, then you put them in boiling water. Doesn't count for pigs. Right. Sorry, so the pork went into cold water? Yeah. yeah. And then you bring it up to boil and simmer it very gently. I know what you're thinking. I had the exact same question. Pigs grow above, above the, the ground. ground. So therefore it goes into boiling water. Exactly. You taught us one thing, Ben, and that yeah. is that. What about moles? Because moles live below the ground, so if you're going to eat a mole... You would just you... blanch it, is what you're saying. <laughs> just... <laughs> you stick that in cold water. I guess so. But once we'd boiled it, and this is where the flavour starts to put on the top, you actually take off the pig skin. When you peel back the pig skin, you're left with a layer of fat. That we were able to score, and that's what gives you this kind of almost like checkerboard effect. So that is the fat, but not the skin of the joint of gammon. Once you've opened that up, you can get loads of flavour into it. So although we managed to get some of the Vietnamese flavours into the ham through the stock, it was the paste that we rubbed over that was also inspired by it. So tamarind, obviously honey, plenty of honey, and it's the sugars that make it so glistening and shiny more chilli, some ginger, some brown sugar, garlic, and a splash more fish sauce. All blended up, and then spread over. Try that. It's got flavour! Sweet, flavor. salty, honey and ginger. Yes! It's a phenomenal combination that's got a kick of chilli oh. and the sauciness of fish sauce. Yes! That's good. That's really good. So the fat absorbs the flavour, rather than the skin just kind of just sitting on top. Yeah. More surface area, because it's getting into all the nooks and crannies. Isn't but it, Jamie? You can, you, can, you can get all of the, the flavour right in there. All done. Good. I'm going to come back in because I felt weird watching you do that. <laughs> With those amazing flavours rubbed in, we're now going to roast it. So 200 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes, but you want a little bit of water in the bottom of the tray. That will stop the sugars from the honey burning. Okay. After 10 minutes, we'll baste it again. And what you're left with, watch this for a basting sauce. 
This is kind of the sticky, syrupy glaze. Oh, wow. There's a lot of moments in this video so far, isn't there? So is there anything you've picked up from this week around honey that's helped you execute this dish? Well, the fact that honey gives things a nice glaze, whether it's halloumi or aubergine or grilled cheese, but also it pairs with nice flavours. Some of the guys suggested things we paired it with previously, like ginger and lemon, and these are all amazing combinations that just work. Well, we were talking about this in the kitchen, like, so things like honey and lemon go really well together. And I was saying, when I cook, I always like to have a drink because it's part of the relaxation thing and you relax into cooking. Honey, lemon, bit of music, whiskey. bit of cooking, and you can see where I'm going with yeah. this. Now, this is, at the moment, a honey and lemon with some cloves. And like Barry mentioned earlier in the week, it's quite medicinal in terms of how it makes you feel, and it's, it's nice. I thought we'd take it a little step further. A little bit of whiskey. Make this into a hot toddy, shall we? I like cooking with you. Lemon, honey, clove, and whiskey. That's pretty good, actually. That's very good. So, you've served us this amazing pork. Really well cooked, amazing glaze, amazing sauce. What's, what's, what's the point in that? Apparently you can't just serve it the same, so you have to have some things, so that's okay. The salad is basically two things. A salad and an amazing dressing. The salad itself is cooked rice noodles, mm. shredded Chinese cabbage, a papaya, peeled, de-seeded and sliced, bird's eye chilli, roasted peanuts and fresh herbs. You know a few weeks ago, you gave me a new sausage? Yep. When we sat around this table, we thought, wouldn't it be a cool thing if we could start bringing in a new ingredient more often? Oh. So, as part of... Oh man, this looks like cat medicine. So as part of the... No. <laughs> what is it? No, we won't be doing this. That's shrimp paste, isn't it? Bang on. Mixed into cat this. Food, isn't it? Oh, it's, oh, it's not! It's coming! That's going to linger. <laughs> oh, I'll leave that to you now. <laughs> <laughs> So salty and <laughs> so fishy. <laughs> so we just put a little bit in, but paired with the honey and the chilli from the salad and a little squeeze of lime juice, a bit more fish sauce, all together it's incredible. So again, you've got the sweetness of honey. Yeah, I'm going to need some more of this. <laughs> it just brings it to life. A drink is banging. Mm. It's very nice. Very simple. Passion fruit and mango cider with a puree of a whole papaya blitz up, fresh lime juice and sparkling water. But the thing I love most about this, when we did our Instagram live recipe lab, oh, yeah. you should be following us on Instagram so you get notified of those, um, we actually asked people what drink we should have. Bloody plug, plug. <laughs> we asked people what drink we should have and they said, people said papaya soda. Oh really? So kapow, thank you, you're thank welcome. You. Delicious. Yeah. Let's talk about individual performances. Um, Jamie, how was it working with Ben? How honestly did you think he did in the kitchen? Ben seems to forget how a hob works. C Sorry to interrupt. Why is this hob on, Ben? Oh, I've done it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to boil a ham. Put the one on that's under the pan. Cooks quicker. It's brownie points time. Yeah, we've got two brownie points to give out. And I, this is a spectacular dish, and therefore I would assume that the majority of that came from the chef. <laughs> I love this by wrestling where he puts his next portion. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. Um, so I would say definitely Ben, definitely yeah, cool. at least a point. Um, I'd like to know what Jay added in the, what did he bring to the kitchen that wouldn't have been there if he hadn't have been there with you? A nice hot toddy, so another pairing from Honey. He also brought, we, which I had in the kitchen, but he also suggested we did the papaya soda that the community suggested in the Instagram, and that you did get. And I don't think all that beautiful honey glaze would have got into every nook and cranny if it wasn't for his extra effort. Gentlemen okay. of the jury. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and he's now slopping more ham on your plate, so. Uh, okay. Fine. Yeah, you have a point. Yeah. It's, okay. pain, it's painful. It's painful. Yeah. yeah, one each. Plus it's fair. week one. Okay, brownie points done. Question time? Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got a question here from the female gamer saying, if you could be a professional in anything, sports, business, tech, etc., what would it be and why? Wouldn't it be cool? Right. Go on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. cool. I, a professional magician. I'd get to keep doves and everything. 
Okay, right, yeah. no, great. Can you imagine doves? I thought you were going to say a dancer. Like, <laughs> I thought you were going to say it. I don't know why. I mean, I'd love to be able to dance at all, let alone professionally. <laughs> but no, I, magic is something I gave okay. up because it was just a hobby. I did. I mean, I was fast-tracked in the early days with my violin career, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, have you, have you ever it. seen him play the violin? Yeah, I have. at school. Have you? Yeah. I've never seen it before. I'm sure it. we can find a video somewhere. Actually, you could have been a professional violinist and I could have been a professional trumpeter. <clears throat> and I could have pulled doves out of a hat while you were doing that. <laughs> yeah. So we, we Whilst Barry, been, I don't know, took photos or something. So we'd have still have had a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah, the great news is that we don't have a choice to have a profession anymore because we've done this, which, yeah. if we ever had to try applying for proper jobs... It's just like, oh, Jamie Spafford's employed for this high role here. OK, let me just Google this, Jamie Spafford. Let's go check on our Christmas pudding puff hay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let me just have a look and check that this is the same guy. Milkshake brings other boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> He's racist against Irish people. Well, hello there, laddies, and a happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a dress. He's wearing a dress. <laughs> We are never, ever, ever going to get real jobs never. ever again. Not now, we've happy done to, happy to that. So please like this video, share it with your friends and uh, get more people subscribing to Sorted yeah. Food. That is the end of Honey Week. Um, I think it's... Yeah. yeah, well done. I think it deserves a round of applause. Thank you to all the bees that sacrificed their honey for our recipes. How many bees died, do you think, to make this week happen? They don't die so to make honey. You get half a it. teaspoon of honey her bee in their lifetime. Really? So imagine the That's job. one of our facts, don't say really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, really, really, really. Mate, what a week. It's a great week. Uh, if you want any of the recipes from everything that Ben and I cooked up today, or actually anything that we've cooked up all week, then all the links are down below, sourcedfood.com. Also in the description, you can find links to our free online cooking course that you should definitely check out. A massive thank you to all of you who got involved with helping us shape the recipes and the videos for this week. And if you want to get involved in future recipes and future videos, then make sure you're following us on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, and the YouTube community tab, because that's where we're going to be asking you questions. So. That's it for a week. Tomorrow starts all over again with a brand new mystery box. Yes, it does. But if you can't wait until tomorrow to see that video, it's already live on sortedfood.com. Right now. Right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. ah! Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favorites.